Hi guys, in this video, we're going to check out the 10 best things to do in Arizona. As one of the world's top vacation spots, Arizona boasts a wide variety of things to do and must-see tourist attractions, each with its own unique features. Due to the sheer wealth of options in Arizona, it can be difficult to figure out what to do this weekend or during your next visit. Here are 10 Arizona things to do and places to visit. Havasupai Falls It's one of the most beautiful places in Arizona if you are already planning to go sightseeing. Located deep within the heart of the Grand Canyon on the Havasupai Reservation, the Havasupai Cavern is home to a series of beautiful waterfalls that are rare to the area, but the most famous one is the Havasu Falls, a waterfall so blue, it is impossible to believe it is not transparent. Unfortunately, it is quite difficult to get there. Despite the beauty of this location, it still remains a relatively unknown secret in Arizona. Getting into the reservation requires a permit, and it's a long journey. Nevertheless, if you're able to make it, it's definitely worth your time and effort. Drive on Route 66 it's no surprise that Route 66 is high on your child's list of places to see in Arizona because of Pixar's cars. Routes like this one were common before interstates, and they still retain a lot of their old world charm. The scenery is what makes American road trips so special, and it's the journey that makes them worthwhile, not the destination. Just take a bypass off Interstate 40 and drive for 75 miles more. Keep driving along and enjoy the stuff along the way, and you'll find it in no time. In the meantime, be sure to stop by Delgadillo's Snowcap Drive-In to have lunch while you are there. The most important thing about trips like these is the memories that you make along the way, which makes it so worthwhile. This route is a mystery waiting to be explored. Horseshoe Bend. You'll find some of Arizona's best outdoor spots in Glen Canyon Recreational Area, which is perfect for amateur geologists and outdoor enthusiasts. The Horseshoe Bend is one of rare places you will never find anywhere else. While it makes its way southwest, the Colorado River flows 1,000 feet above sea level through the Rocky Plateau. Throughout this unique desert landscape, the river flows in a variety of stream shapes due to its geological makeup. It looks like a horseshoe when the river makes a perfect U-shaped bend. Take Route 89 to get the best view. It's just a quick hike from there before you come across one of nature's most stunning sights. Camelback Mountain there is no doubt that Camelback Mountain, named after its distinctive shape, sits pretty high on the list of tourist attractions you must visit, especially if you're a hiker traveling across Arizona for the first time adventurous. Historically, this mountain was home to the pre-colonial Native Americans, so budding historians may also be interested in checking out the historical areas of this mountain. However, it is the explorers who will really have the most fun out of this whole experience. Most of us are familiar with the story of how camels got their hump. Do you ever wonder how the mountains got their heads? It's an interesting answer. It is believed that the shape of the camel's head is the result of the red sandstone eroding faster than the harder granite sitting on top of it, and that is what gives it its unique shape. There's just one question that remains. How exactly did the old granite end up on top of the newer sandstone on this particular part of the mountain? And how did this happen? See if you can solve the mystery by visiting this scenic location yourself and see if you can figure out what happened there. Tombstone. Don't think twice and include this location on your Arizona vacation list. Tombstone has a Victorian heyday feel that harkens back to the days 
when pioneers were still pushing westward in search of gold and land. Now, the town of Tombstone is explicitly designed to attract tourists, in contrast to all of the other attractions mentioned so far. Featuring period-accurate architecture and staged recreations of famous historical gunfights, you'll feel like you're back in the Old West. You can still find hints of the town's mining history if you're looking for something more authentic. If you're looking for something a little different, then visit the Tombstone Courthouse State Historic Park. Check out the museum there, and if that appeals to you, please let us know in the comments. Lake Powell When the Glen Canyon Dam was constructed in 1972, it flooded the Glen Canyon, creating a man-made reservoir on the Colorado River. Aside from providing water to several states, the reservoir today serves as one of the best recreational water spots in the state. In the summer, this lake is a great place to fish, boat, or water ski if you need to beat the heat. The best way to experience Rainbow Bridge would be to take a boat tour. In fact, it is one of the most jaw-dropping rock arches in the world, and it is best accessed by boat. The beauty of these formations is not unique to this region. There are other similar formations all around the world, but how many of them are suspended above a sparkling expanse of water? Don't miss Lake Powell if you're ever in the area. Sedona. It may surprise you, but there are many wonderful things to do in Arizona, including staring at the scenery. There is something magical about the desert landscape here amidst canyons and valleys, and it carries a raw, earthy energy that attracts everyone. You should definitely put Sedona on your list of must-visit destinations if you are a soul seeker or into meditational yoga. Located in the Verde Valley, this desert town is an enclave surrounded by fascinating rock formations. There is something else about Sedona that attracts visitors besides the red bands of iron oxide and manganese. Amidst the giant rock formations lying on the ground are four vortexes of energy that make visitors cry just by walking into them. After all, there is a reason why there are so many metaphysical shops in that town. There's something for everyone in Sedona, even if you're not the metaphysical type. You might want to check out Cathedral's Rock, which is an elevated summit that will likely test your endurance and strength. Walnut Canyon. There is no better way to discover the rich history of the pre-Columbian era than to dive deep into some of its culture and less superficially, appreciate the beauty of the land and its people. Tourists enjoy the historical cliff dwellings carved out of canyon walls as one of the state's most popular attractions. Before it was suddenly abandoned, Walnut Canyon was home to the Sinaqua people. In spite of the fact that the Sinaquas thrived in such an environment and even had a trading empire, the disappearance of the Sinaqua remains a mystery. It remains a mystery to historians and archaeologists to this day. As the site is now open to visitors, you can take on this mystery on your own. Obviously, within reasonable limits. Consider visiting this incredible location if you would like to play archaeological detectives. Canyon de Chelly National Monument. You can take a tour of this magnificent Native American heritage site. Well, there is nothing more fascinating than that. It is worth spending a few hours strolling around through the Navajo Nation's boundaries and taking a look at the Canyon de Chelly National Monument. This area has seen continuous human occupation by the Anasazi and Navajo tribes for almost 5,000 years. The site is now all ruins, but that doesn't mean it's not worth exploring. You can see these magnificent cliff dwellings high up in the canyon walls on a ranger-led tour. 
In spite of the fact that most of the ruins are inaccessible to visitors these days, there are still some places you can wander through yourself, and at least one self-guided hike is a must-do. Don't miss this opportunity to see some incredible history if you're in the area. It's one of the best things to do in Arizona. Grand Canyon There is no doubt that the Grand Canyon is one of the most beautiful places in the world and is an internationally renowned jewel of the Colorado Plateau province. There's a reason why this location is ranked among the top 10 best Arizona travel destinations. The canyon is filled with breathtaking views, incredible biodiversity, and challenging outdoor activities. The Colorado River offers whitewater rafting and canyon viewing, or you can marvel at the Earth's history on display on its walls. There is even the option of taking a mule ride if you do not wish to walk all the way. If you have an interest in geology or are an adventurous person, the Grand Canyon should be on your bucket list. In this geological marvel, there is just something that strikes awe into the human soul, and it is worth coming here to experience. It's a must-see when in Arizona. If you like our content, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for our next videos.